Good evening. Tonight I'm coming to you raw and unscripted from my usual working from home desktop instead of my studio which I kind of did something to and it doesn't work anymore. This video is my contribution to DOS Semba where I want to take you through a very basic menu system that I used to have to write as part of my job back in the 80s. Welcome to Billboard. So basically this is a, uh, a DOS menu system uh, using batch files and it's almost like faking your way through a menu system. It's quite amusing to see a, a, a DOS running on a Mac. So let's just start. So you create a, a file called menu.bat for example. And I'll show you, here's one I created earlier. As you can see, uh, at the beginning you've got your standard uh, echo off so that there'd be no more output of, of each of the, the batch lines running. A CLS to clear the screen uh, and then an echo, welcome to the billboard menu. Basically you'd have this numbering system um, for the various applications. Uh, and you might think that I'm going to rename my applications to one, two or three. Um, but I'm not in this case. So if we exit out of the, the menu, uh, you will see that if I now run the menu, so as you can see, number two is launch vSafe. So if I type number two and press enter, it launches vSafe and it says vSafe's already resonant because here, that's one I prepared earlier. Um, but if you go in, for example, and I say edit 2.bat, you will see that it is a very, very simple batch file that echo off and then it launches the command vSafe. Uh, so this could be anything. This could be any application uh, that you already have uh, available through DOS. Uh, it might be on your hard drive as long as you've got a path that goes to that to that file uh, already set. I'll exit out of that quickly. Just still getting my way around in DOS. It's been a long time. Uh, so now, as you can see, I go back to menu, I hit two and it runs vSafe. So all you have to do is every time you want to add a new menu item, uh, you just edit a batch file, give it that number, 4.bat, 5.bat, whatever, write it into your, into your menu uh, and instantly you can launch anything that you want from the most simple basic menu without any real coding. Um, another thing you could do would be to edit your auto exec.bat, excuse my typing, and at the end of that you can actually put menu Let's see how good my skills are. So I'll save that file. So if we were to launch an auto exec, as you can see, straight into the menu, uh, it's kind of clean. Uh, the company that I worked for, we, this was very, very early days. Uh, so kind of predated Windows for a lot of people. Uh, and so we'd make simple menus for them. So they would use this to launch their, their database tools or, you know, um, word processing tools, all the, the purely DOS tools that uh, a lot of people used back in the day. All right, so that concludes my contribution to DOS Semba with my completely useless and defunct menu system. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching it and might inspire you uh, to do something for those of you out there that like to mess around with DOS and hadn't thought of something so simple it's actually ridiculous. Thanks for watching. Drop, 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 drop.